I wonder who did it. No, thought I can get a Coke. Guess not. What an alcoholic joking, he is. Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store. That was never gonna work out, was it? We'll take a look around. Hmm. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her. And she was borrowing books from Grobner McCaffrey. Grobner McCaffrey. The fuck is this? I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. A bowling pin, really? Balling's bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Ha ha ha. No pun intended. Corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday night. In her spare time, that's funny. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. It's supposed to be an Oscar of some sort, I think. All right, let's go. Well, actually, one more. Is that her mom or something? Is that it? All right, let's get the hell out of here. Any ideas? Question the owner. He must know something. Well, let's go ahead and question him then. Are you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. That's true. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social <clears throat> visit? To pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quarter of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. For a she boy? She's 40. And she had to make it up to him. I'm gonna guess and say that's McCaffrey. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. She talked about McCaffrey. Supposedly he fought in the International Brigade in Spain in the miners' strikes back in Virginia. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. Got that wrong? He was looking straight in my eyes. Whatever. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. We'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Right. Let's see, where are we going now? We're going to Mench's Bar. Up ahead, you turn left. All right.
That was a quick drive. Very quick drive. Mench's bar, 12.14 p.m. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mench. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I have one ace. I again, I barely knew the woman. Mm, the, um... Book. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Do you have a criminal record, <clears throat> Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth column. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. All right. I'm at a loss. No. Next stop has got to be the bowling alley. Yeah, no shit, but I want to ask, see New if anybody else knows. Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's so funny. Advice? The fuck up. Next I don't need your damn advice. To be the bowling alley. Anything here? Mm, nope. All right, let's get the hell out of here, dude. Hey, what happened to my other cop car? Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11K, car 11 King, KGPL. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. 11 King, en route. Roger. Let's not keep the man waiting. 